consultation planning process meeting for the course of this day. <clears throat> what, what do we mean by strategy? According to Thompson, Strickland and Gamble of 2010, the strategy is a management action plan for running the business and conducting operations of any given institution. The crafting of a strategy represents a managerial commitment to pursue a particular set of action, to improve council's financial performance, and ultimately to improve our services to the Omania residents and other stakeholders. This workshop or meeting will mark the beginning of crafting our strategic plan for the council, and our wish is to be successful within this new competitive world. If it is not regional, local, or international. During this meeting, we will develop a clear picture or vision of what the council will look like if it is so be successful in the next five years' time. To develop a clear picture of our council today as a legal entity, to develop specific projects of what we need to do in the next few months while making preparations towards crafting our five-year plan, strategic plan, to move from where we are today towards our vision. Let, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by stating that there is a difference between operational and strategic thinking. Operational thinking involves focusing on what is happening in the short term inside the institution, which is the council or the municipality of Okaya. However, developing a powerful strategic plan that will involve focusing on what is happening outside of the council, external environment, the scanning of the external environment, and building a competitive advantage for the long term future. I know that you may not be comfortable with this way of thinking. However, it is crucial that we are going to focus on long term future at this workshop. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn from people of all walks of life. So let us engage each other. I believe that by working together as a team, I am confident that we will be able to solve the challenges facing the council, being the municipality of Batania. It is important that we focus on the challenges which we are going to identify in order for the strategic objective to solve those challenges. In conclusion, Mr. Nate from Nalao, the gentleman over there, he will assist the council in the process of crafting the strategic plan, which will mainly focus on the infrastructure master plan studies recommendations to address the silver collection and treatment plans, the solid waste management, the urban roads network and storm water, the bulk water supply and portable water regulation, and indeed the electrical network. <coughs> Let me quote Andrew Wendy. He once said, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. With these few remarks, I am looking forward to a productive consultation meeting as we walk this road together. I thank you.
the past and focus on the future. So I think this is a moment for, for Kahanja to really make a decision to move forward. I usually prefer to explain my role in this process by way of this story. And the councillors and the staff know the story, so they should not bring the story. <laughs> it is a story of a farmer, I understand, here in the Okahanja region. And he was farming with cattle, but due to drought and all of the challenges that farmers face, uh, by the time he was about to graduate to glory, uh, we only had 17 cattle left, so we'll have to work together because this is the way that we'll be working throughout this process in a participatory way. So we had 17 cattle left at the end of his at the end of his life. By the time he had, he, he died, he had three sons. He had three sons, and in his will, he directed as follows. The inheritance was to be divided as follows. The firstborn son would get half. The secondborn would get one third. And the lastborn would get one ninth. That was what the old man decided and he wrote it down in his will uh, as that. So after, when he died, uh, the boys were really scratching their heads and wondering what is half of 17? What is one third of 17? So for days they were arguing. You know, the young man, younger one was, you know, already a town boy and he was saying, Neman. The old man was not proclaiming the case, so why don't we just sell the cattle? Maybe if we have the cash, it might be a bit easier to make the division. So they were arguing for days. Uh, the older one was feeling that, you know, we cannot just... Oscar, the old man said, Elfen has had so many that we cannot just let go of the legacy of the old man. So they went on. And then... One day, as they were grazing and having that intense discussion, an older man also passed by there with his own cattle. So he came closer and he asked the guys, what is, what is the issue? Why are you intensely discussing? What is it that you are talking about? So they said, well, our old man put us in a serious trouble. Now, he only had 17 cattle left by the time he died and he directed like half for the first one, one third, for the second one and one nine. So the old man thought for a moment and then he said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one of my cattle. So he gave them one, so let's work together now. 17 plus one. The team, we agree on that. Half of 18 is? Nine. Nine, we all agree. One third of 18? Eight. Are we agreed on six? This is not a political discussion. <laughs> this is mathematics. <laughs> so are we agreed on six? Mm. Okay. Six. One ninth of eighteen. Everyone agrees? Two. Two. Huh? Okay. So let's go. Nine plus six. Nine plus Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen plus two? Seventeen. So the old man took his cow and he left. You see. 
what I want to emphasize with the process, like with this story, is that the old man only brought one car to solve the problem. But the solution, the core of the solution was already with the three boys. They already had the solution there. And all the old man did was to offer them a process a process by which they could solve their problems. And that is really the, noble, the role that we play as an allow is to come and offer you a process where you can have a conversation as, as people, as residents, as leaders, political leaders, administrative and professional leaders, as community, as business. We are offering you a process by which you can have a conversation and that this conversation will be solved essentially by the people in this room and maybe those who could not make, make it now and are following us on Facebook. Uh, you are the people in Uganda who have the vested interest that can solve these problems. You have the brains, you have the capacity, you have the experience, you have the love and passion for this town's development. So we believe that's, that's our, our belief is more in the people of the town. That they have everything that is needed to take this town to the next level. That is what we believe, that is why we are here uh, to support you in this process. Maybe to ask some of the questions that you might not feel comfortable to ask one another. Uh, to facilitate those conversations that maybe because of structures, because of history, we have not been able to have that conversation. So we come to, to facilitate a conversation. Uh, and I will explain now as, as I go through this process what, how we will go about it.
the rope consists of three layers, sub grade, sub base, and the base course. So due to the fact that the service, the bitumen, the top layer, the, the servicing of the rope was too old, uh, the water actually percolated through uh, the servicing and the, the base course in most of the areas of the town was limited. So, the decision was made to actually wrap the first layer, the base course, 150 millimeters, and transported the old material or a new material was transported in, and with this, actually 10 kilometers of road was repaired from 2017 up to last year, August. So, last year, uh, the RMA contribution was uh, 2.6 uh, mil. 2.6 mil. Now, the, the phases from phase one up to phase three, the cost was almost 12.6 uh, mil. So, the last amount was 1.7 mil from the 12 mil that was claimed last year, August, during August. And that was now the amount, this amount that was claimed from that one, and the remaining amount was this. So this amount again was then used uh, for fetching of bottles. This is now the road that goes from Matisse, where the railroad crossing is. From there up to Pittsburgh, from Pittsburgh up to the service station, and the portion was again down the entrance to Fedestal, almost 80, 80 meters uh, was pet and recycled with 18 millimeters down. And then the portion again from pit below that goes up to Nardis, that part was also better and recycled. So those actually the works that was done from 2017 up to now. Okay, and the current budget, uh, what is it, budget amount from RFA is 2.8 million that will be used now for this financial year. Okay, then we proceed to Ekunde servicing of Ekunde 4 and 5. The ministry, uh, the departed fund from the ministry was six million. And from this amount, four million was claimed last year. And this included now, uh, this included the uh, excavation works from Ekunde, uh, from Moshele number three up to Ekunde, and then uh, one standby was actually provided there to uh, give provision of water to that uh, settlement there. And this year, a nine point uh, nine hundred and three, uh, nine hundred and thirty-seven thousand was claimed again from the ministry, and this was now for the material. This is not the material. Uh, the pipes that needs to be used from the 4 and 5 up to the bonds. This includes now the, the main fuel line that transport the effluent from Oshetu number 3 and to, up to the bonds. So part of those pipes and the BBC pipes that we transport the water are this effluent from the Kunde 4 and 5. Part of those material has been claimed from this amount. Now currently, uh, Lisbon Consultants has been appointed within, uh, within the beginning of this year. I think it was beginning of January that Lisbon Consultants were appointed and they are actually to do the documentation, design, and supervision of the works uh, at Ekunde 4 and 4, uh, 4 and 5.
currently they are now almost 90% done with the design on the documentation works. So maybe within this month, uh, 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 10,000 will be given out for the companies to you know, compete for the works to start. So the current current budget for this year is equal and then the project will take a duration of three years. So from this eight mil and the budget again for next year and the other year, those will be used for the construction of the Kunde 485. So now I will hand over to Master Philip from Jala uh, to explain the next part. Three lists. Out of that comes these three things. 
What does Rwanda need to stop doing? What we need to start doing? And what do we need to continue doing? Stop doing? Da -da -da -da, start doing this? Or change this? What, what are the things that needs to change? in this town, to take that, this town back to its former glory as the proud garden town of Namibia. What needs to start happening? What needs to stop happening? What needs to be continued? So these are the two discussions that we have in the first round of group discussions. I think there is, we have one, then, but we have, I think there's additional paper there, uh, so the groups can come and take paper, there are occupants, uh, let's just